Aloha, and welcome to, look, I shaved, and my face is getting thinner. Yay! So, really great day. Like, crazy. Crazy good. <clears throat> Except for the fact that I fucking fly again. I thought that thing died. Actually, maybe that's a moth. It's jumping around like a moth. Okay, it can live. Except for the fact that, um... <clears throat> somehow in late November, early mid-December, doing uh, lots of ab work, I kind of feel like I gave myself a little bit of a hernia. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, it's not a hernia yet, but definitely it's pulling in my uh, lower um, right ab and then into my uh, pelvic floor area right above my uh, right ball. So... Um, I need to take it easy on the abs while still working on my abs and um, and also uh, get to um, fuck man mm. yeah I need to take it easy on that part uh, because I thought like after a month of not doing anything, it would have been healed, like my wrist, and then I go back to the gym, and like, three days into doing shit, and not even, like, that many abs or that much yoga, though it could have happened yesterday, when I did a lot of, uh, sit-up things, so I just need to be, uh, very mindful of it, and I think it'll heal, um, where were we? Oh, yeah, my ball. So, um, yeah, great day, though. Morning meditation. <sighs> Body scan. And um, and then the uh, six-phase meditation by uh, Vision Lakiani. I need to start uh, doing... Um, I want to do... Uh, Deepak Chopra's um, Abundance Meditation again. He's actually got a lot of really, really great ones. So, I feel like that helped. I feel like that helped last year. Um, what else? So did that. Feeling like I needed a little bit more protein. So, and I also had some blueberries and some blackberries that uh, I needed to get done fast. So, um, made a smoothie this morning, um, ate about two thirds in the morning and then, uh, a couple hours later finished it up. Uh, um, um, I have a house cleaner coming tomorrow. The first time I've ever used one. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm finally realizing in my life, I to pay for things that I really appreciate and I really need instead of like letting an emotion build up inside and not knowing what to do about it or knowing what to do about it and not doing that thing about it and uh and then just like saying fuck it and now i'm i'm you know doing some type of drug or or looking for we're oh, looking for prostitutes or or um or uh or buying alcohol or whatever you know it's like, I'm realizing that if I do the things that really light me up and that I really want to do, that I don't have a need for those things. So, um, I've, you know, the depression part is over. It's been over for a long time. Uh, mania comes because I, um, I repress my emotions. So if I don't realize my emotions, I won't be manic, which is great, hopefully. Though, who knows how much I fucked up my brain. So there could be some patterns in there. <sighs> oh, lithium is awesome anyway. And has been proved to, you know, support your mood. And I think it does support, oh, it's so cold and rainy tonight. Oh, I need a woman. So... I mean, not need. I have a nice fluffy blanket. Anyway, 
um, shake, morning, um, morning journaling, and then, uh, pick up around the house. <sighs> Finish repairing my surfboard. I do a fucking terrible job repairing my surfboard. <laughs> the, the, um, first I didn't, I didn't, like, clean it off, which I should have done. stupid. I don't know why I didn't do that. I didn't like wipe it off with a fucking cloth or really sand it. I just like put the, the stuff on it and then when I put the sealant on it I didn't um, whatever. I did a shitty job. So no one's gonna steal my surfboard when it's outside in the locker, Jesus fucking Christ, um, so, whatever, uh, at least it's something to surf on, and it is embarrassingly bad, oh, I need to buy a new one now, fuck, whatever, it's fine for being an outside surfboard, doing then I went and worked on my car a little bit cleaned that up uh, I did a better job on that and then um, I need internet for my house I've been using uh, just uh, my phone internet for a couple years after I parted from the internet company and then it's like <sighs> I don't get the exact speed, so I'd have to tether my phone to my computer in order to jack the system and um, and get the uh, get the hotspot at the fast speed through my phone. And that's annoying, and uh, and I have uh, university coming up soon, so I didn't want to go to the store. And I was like, Jesus Christ, how am I going to get internet? And it was kind of in the back of my mind, like this thing that I needed to do. And then I have to go to the place where I never go in order to get the internet. But then, oh, surprisingly, there was a salesperson in my neighborhood for some fucking reason. So I, um, so I, uh, I signed up for the internet. So I get that at my house. Ordered a new modem on Amazon while he was standing there. So we could do that. Um, oh, I need to buy creatine. Um, right before bed. What else? Um, then I, um, uh, a friend of mine gave me uh, an old Garmin uh, watch of his, and um, I used one in like 2002, and it was huge, and it like, did not really pick up the reception well. His picks up the reception really well, and uh, I had, we wanted to run this trail yesterday, <laughs> and uh, it's close to my house, and I didn't get a chance to... Uh, to do it yesterday, so I promised myself, wrote in my journal, I'm going to do it today, set my, my, uh, trail run, <sighs> trail running shoes aside, which I kind of almost didn't want to use, because, um, because I don't, you know, like, running on the road with them can wear down the, uh, the tread, and, um, Anyway, I, I <laughs> freudingly forgot them, and I'm running on the road in my flat Nikes, and uh, uh, I'm like, holy shit, I'm not going to be able to, uh, because it's raining today, especially, you know, I'm not going to be able to do the trail, because I have all my, these shoes, and they're extremely slippery, and, um, 
say, well, okay, I'll just see how far it is to the trailhead. So I run to the trailhead, it's like 1.4 miles or something. Um, and then I, uh, I get up the thing and I'm like, wait, the trail's kind of dry and I'm already here. You know what? Let's just run it. And, uh, and I thought it was, it was uh, a shorter trail, but it ended up being close to three miles. And um, and then and then ran back home, so it ended up being like almost six miles of uh, of running, which is, is fabulous. Even though it was slow, you know, it, it felt really great to get out. And then I, I came home, made it just in time for the the, the woman that I'm seeing, uh, kind of seeing to get off work texted we were supposed to see each other this afternoon i thought we were gonna see each other at like four or five but she said six which only gives me 30 minutes before yoga which is fine um but i had some some time to kill so i'm i'm when i had my healing session monday they mentioned um this book hold on what is it the uh the wild edge of sorrow by francis uh weller Looks pretty good so far. He talks about five gates uh, of of grief, I guess, maybe like five types of grief. So, I'm gonna get into that. And uh, <sighs> then I started, um, and I remembered that I, I needed to delete an online dating account that I created when I was manic, and I downloaded the app, went on it, didn't delete it matched with a girl, started chatting with her, flirting with her. She's in a, in a similar group of friends. So, you know, who knows what will happen. Then one really, really fucking weird girl somehow I matched with her. <sighs> Whatever. Um. I saw the girl that I'm hanging out with went to yoga, which was amazing, and uh, there's this, uh, there's a really cute girl, and they're so just funly flexible and sweet, and, um, oh, and so I, we're, we're both in the back of the studio, and then this, uh, this one girl I haven't seen in like a month and a half, two months, she runs up, and she's like, oh my god, Chatty, ah, you're back. I'm like, oh my God, you're back too. And we hug and, and it was really great. And then, you know, had a little conversation with the yoga teacher too. And, you know, this is all happening really close to the, to the sweet girl. And, uh, oh, I wanted to ask her out to a thing on Sunday. Um, but uh, she, uh, she left class early. But she did make it a point to uh, to smile at me, you know, and, uh, and acknowledge me, and that felt really good. So she's super sweet and cool. Yeah, life is uh, life is great. And then uh, went to Walmart, got some things to fix my car, and then talked to a, a friend on the way home who gave me some insight. Yeah, you know, we're we're kind of like opposite sides of the opposite sides of the mirror, you know. Like I, I never really had a need to worry about money. I was fine, you know, even not making a lot of money. Even though now I want to make a lot of money for future security for retirement. And because I, I busted my retirement out after grad school. Oh, you don't even want to know how low I sold Amazon at. Whatever. What the fuck ever. Anyway. Yeah. That low. So. It's, um. Yeah, she, she gave me some, you know, like. Hard work. And, and crafting an identity. You know, are, are things that. I need to work on more. And 
and uh, and I got to cook this evening while we were talking on the phone, which is great because I hadn't cooked in a while, even though it wasn't much. It was just tempeh, a little sesame oil, some uh, black pepper, and uh, soy sauce. Brown. <sighs> Brown, kind of dark. And then uh, I was out of guacamole. I really wanted guacamole, but all I had was hummus. So I, uh, I put hummus in it, mixed it with hummus, and then, and then put it in a butter lettuce wrap. I didn't eat it at all, but um, yeah, feeling, feeling, um, feeling really great about today. Did I get my internet installed tomorrow? I think I get my internet installed tomorrow too. Yeah, and then Thursday I get some furniture, and then I think girls can come over this weekend. So I will keep you updated about my ball or the girls or grad school. All the stuff. Aloha. Have a beautiful evening.